And welcome back to Consumer Update. Well, joining me today is the reigning Miss Galaxy International, Jamie Lee. Well, you've come quite a way, so thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. So tell us exactly where have you come from? Um, I've come all the way from the UK, Wales, in fact, which is part of the UK, and um, I'm here today in America. <laughs> you are, and you've actually come to do something pretty special for the Bay Area. You're, you're visiting Shriners yeah, Children's Hospital. Yeah, I'm visiting later today, so that'll be a lovely experience, because I work with children back home, so um, this will mean a great deal to me. So you've come all the way. Now, you've done a lot of traveling as Miss Galaxy, obviously. Um, you won in August. Yes. So yeah. tell us a little bit about your travel schedule. Okay, so since I went to um, Chicago and I won, I went to uh, south of France to do some work there. And then I'm going to Spain when I get back from America. And I'm also going to be modeling in Paris in January. So it's taken me um, all around the world, really, which is, is great. Pretty exciting. Um, tell me a little bit about the pageant, because a lot of people don't really know. You know, they think beauty pageant. Obviously, there's so much more than just the competition. But let's just, we're going to start at the competition. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, okay. So um, you go to the competition, and you're competing against all the girls from all around the world. Uh -huh. um, and you've got your, your gown round, your interview round, and all your other different rounds. So you've not only have you got to look good, you've got to be able to talk the talk, though, because the interview <laughs> counts for a lot of the points. And I was lucky enough to win all the awards as well so um, it was a great experience indeed. Okay, and it had to be really neat to um, meet all the different women and the different yeah. cultures. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you've made some lasting friendships. Yes, I have, most definitely. Facebook, all the way. Facebook. Yeah, because we keep in touch on there now. So That's kind of changed the way everybody I does know. <laughs> now. So tell us a little bit about what this has opened up for you. Um, definitely modeling. Um, I got my modeling job in, in Paris through mm -hmm. winning this competition and also to become the face of a new bikini range back in the UK. Uh -huh. So um, it has opened up doors in the modeling area and also to meet some great people and um, work with some fantastic charities, especially in the UK. Um, a couple of charities close to my heart, the Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation, because okay. I've recently lost my grandfather from lung cancer. So uh -huh. I do a lot of work with them. So um, it's, it's, it's a good way, um, a foundation to... Uh, progress really. Now you have a pretty um, busy travel schedule. You've come all the way to the U.S. I know that you're going to the Tri Shriners Children's Hospital. Yeah. Um, you're also going to the National Humane Society. Yeah. So yeah. you're really making your rounds and you're doing a little bit with teens as well. So yeah. what, do, what does your day look like today? Like I, I mean you get up <laughs> early, you come here, then what do you do? Then I go and do all my charity work and meet everybody and um, then I might go and chill out, <laughs> have a bit of a rest. <laughs> and I guess it does get pretty hectic. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is like a job. People think, yeah. oh, it's, it's not. But you really, since you're traveling all around the world, I mean, it can get pretty busy. It does get really tiring, I must admit. I get really tired, but it, it's, it's all for a good cause and, you know, I want to show off the crown and <laughs> show off the, the banner, so yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about, like, when you go into the children's hospitals, what's that like? Kind of walk us through that because it, it really is an amazing experience. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's just, it's so uplifting to see the children so happy and especially the little girls if you take the crowns, because I've done this back in the UK also. Um, it's just so, it just makes you feel so so nice and it's very very rewarding it is very rewarding i like doing it very much so what does the rest of the year look like you are miss galaxy you're traveling all around the world what, what does the rest of the year look like to you very busy <laughs> until i hand that crown back in july very busy i've got a lot coming up um a lot of charity events a lot of modeling assignments um back in the uk and around the world so yeah it's going to be very busy but it's good because you know you're only going to get one year get that crown for one year and then you hand, hand it back and then it'll be all over so got to make the most of it while it lasts so is this really a dream for you i mean winning that crown is it something yeah. that you know you see little girls and yeah. you know they want to be a princess but you're a princess with a cause, so that's pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, definitely, because um, I've always wanted to do pageants, and I've tried really hard back in the UK to um, enter different ones. You and won Miss Wales. Yeah, I won um, Miss, uh, I went to the Miss Earth competition. Mm -hmm. I've won quite a few competitions back home, but never in international. And to win an international in America, that was quite a, a bit of a dream come true. But unfortunately, my family weren't there to see it, so that was a bit disappointing. But what was your homecoming like? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah, I had a, had a party like... when I got uh -huh. home. Yeah, my uh, parents and grandparents had all balloons and banners everywhere. Congratulations, because it's a big deal. They, they really love what I do, and they support me 100%. Also, oh, because they support you going out into the community, because that, yeah. that's a huge part of that. Yeah. 
that my grandmother even uh, does community service with me. <gasps> really? She, so it's a family affair. Yeah, she loves it. I've got an event actually with a Marie Curie cancer um, appeal in November and she'll be doing that with me so that'll be great. So um, when did you first decide that pageantry was for you? <laughs> Do you know, it was actually my mum who got me involved in it when oh, I was 19. No. So it was about six years ago, she got me involved in it and I went from there. So she um, I was always a, my success to herself as well, you know, for helping me along the way. So without my mum, I wouldn't, have, <laughs> wouldn't be here today. I was going to say, and, and anybody that's interested in pageantry, we're actually going to put that information up so they can find yeah, out definitely. how to contact you as well as, as learn more about yeah. the Galaxy uh, pageant. So definitely. thank you so much. And I know you have a, a busy schedule, so I'll let you get <laughs> oh, back you. to our community. More just after this.